Welcome to an interlude. Before we begin the next proper stage, I finally, after 10,000 years of grand effort, acquired the power, the numbers, the wang, the number wang. Let us engage in mighty fisticuff. Just barely by dozens of numbers. Took hours to accomplish. A bit frustrated by it. But that's the move. And here we have screaming, regeneration, scampers off to earth, and drops that item. Yes. More screaming. The crew jumps after him. And skill point get. However, some things happened during that stage, and I need to see if. No, I did not get charged for it. What are all these again? Because this is like the low tier junk. SP, hit rate, evade, crit. Evading. Oh, you're, you're full up. Right, exit. Do dodge it. Picked up the other items. Oh, really? They actually charged me for the Estevalis that got shot down. That's what I was hoping they wouldn't do. Alright, and now to your regularly scheduled episode of Super Robot Wars Impacto. It's your boy Zap, a professional stage agent, and welcome back to Super Robot Wars Impact. Let's make an impact. We begin with a drink with your boy. Today is this supposedly new Starbucks Frappuccino white chocolate mocha thing. I forgot. I already threw the label away. Toasted white chocolate. So it says. So, new chapter begins now. Play these in any turn that we choose. There's also some very time-consuming secrets to get here. So we'll see. We'll happen. And one of them is definitely much more worth it than the other. Da, da. Stage 40. Ikari no Mashin. The Furious Demon God. The female Ostevalis pilots are uneasily waiting in radio silence. We've got to preserve what little batteries they've got left. This occasions a truly horrible pun about running out of gas. Just then, some weirdos turn up! It's 
Okay, so the guide has written Koji because it assumes that I sent Koji. I sure as heck did not. It's Tetsuya and crew! Tetsuya's feeling a bit miffed about having to wait in a place like this for help, but there's not much for it. Worse, the Dankuga's whereabouts are unknown ever since it bailed out to outprotect the HLV. Unfortunately, the enemy don't appear willing to let the team wait until it brightened the rest of the team show up. Boss. Self-destruct. Oh my god, I can rotate the map again. This is glorious. We haven't seen these kids in a while. Let us observe. That's not how you call that attack. That's a weak and quiet attack call. Gotta scream it like Koji does. Koshiroku! You know, as you do. So, supposedly, and I have no way of confirming or denying this, is that everyone gets a two-point upgrade. If I had blown up a uh, Butcher way back earlier in the game, I'm pretty sh dang sure I did. End of turn. So the skill point is to defeat all the initial enemies in four turns. What is this? Trying to shoot Togo Ken Z? Get that dirt off my shoulder. Okay, just regular twisting punch. Got it. Hey, right, had to see. Gotta find out. What kind of terrain do we have here? Regen this energy. Behold, boss. Yeah, 
Good punch, boss. Good punch. Good, very good. Ugh, they're not moving. Bad call! Oof. We'll be alright now. Turn three! More bad guys show up. Figuring they've been discovered, the Ostevalis' pilots also quit hiding. <laughs> Ryoko calls out to the great, telling them that they're allies. Ikaro is overjoyed to finally meet. Uh, pff, I'm gonna get his name wrong all the time. Tetsuya. And while Tetsuya is unhappy about not knowing who they are, he agrees that the lizards come first. Now, do any of these ladies have go fast? No. They have angry. Limited batteries, but look at all those regen pools. Just hanging out. Bam. And if I do this, this should solve one problem. One problem solved! Oh no, five points. Easily regen. Alright. What do you got? Oh, snap! Tetsuya, go! Mazin, go! Mazin, go! You get burning!
Oh wait, hold on. Boss, this is on you. However, bonk. Destroy him! Nice! I have one turn. Yeah, I need to run it. Boss could resupply it. I think. Get him, boss! Get him, Carl! Oh, I need more power. More power! Okay. I believe. Oh look, here's one of the hidden gems there. And I'm pretty sure the other one is here. Oh yep, there's that mark. How you get in there, though? I don't know. We'll find out later. More importantly, get mad. Let's go! Let's just knife. Knife dashing. What do you have? What spells do you have? 
Oh, decrease morale? So you're gonna pop it into slime right here. Finish him! Presto missile! Wipe him out! Mission complete. Skill point, get! Can't do anything. On turn five, the Nabisco shows up to find Satsuki Midori in pretty sad shape. Both Tetsuya and the Nabisco crew are surprised to see each other. Disco, the Disco is here to help the Austin Wallaces and to launch all two of its own mecha. Prospector would love to analyze the great. Seeing it would probably advance Nergal's science a good ten years. Tetsuya is not pleased with this prospect. But at that moment, a bunch of new chumps appear! I said appear. That's not the right appearance. There we go. These foes didn't show up on radar at all. Tetsuya is willing to take anyone and everyone on if need be, and Mirka orders her troops to fight alongside the Mazinger. Bonk this wall! Yeah, let's do this. No. Nope. Let's swing you in here just to pick that up. And just do whatever damage you can. I think these are ninja robots. Did I miss? Hold up. Gone.
Y'all just sit there. Mm hmm. Something to do. Nobody left. Nobody left. Aha! You missed! Hmm... Yes! You can't touch me! And now, the Long Nobel! Bright thanks him for helping Tetsuya out and says their position hasn't changed. Quattro would love to tell them to throw down their arms, but given that a battle's going on, that clearly will not work right now. Duke said this is no time for Earthlings to fight each other, and Yurika just can't decide what to do. Prospector says that his new girl employee simply can't go along with this request. But... As you do... More enemies show up. Ah, <sighs> Yurika orders the transportation engines to full and commands an emergency recovery of the Ostevala Seas. She then undertakes an emergency... BAMF! Emergency transposition! Everyone else is even more puzzled! There's nothing else to do but take down the enemy robots! Could Tetsuya and Duke are glad to see each other, at least. One... Okay. We are on the complete wrong side. But, it be what it is. Two... Two, three... Four... Five... Six, seven. Do you have resupply? You do. <sighs> Shark. Time to do some heavy lifting.
This will take 10,000 years. Come on, boss, you can defend! Nice. Smash. Ah, why my foot got to be itchy? So rude. Repair boss. Pressure punch. Char, putting in an effort. Let's save the game. Hmm, that's expensive. Greater, please. Yeah. Oof, I realize I'm totally not talking very much. Uh, well, today, this week, we're smack dab in the middle of uh, Summer Games Done Quick. I was a little disappointed in the shirts this time around, but my stuff from RPG Limit Break finally came in at the same time. I tried streaming this game yesterday, grinding out that missing skill point that you saw, and that was a test in patience that I don't have. So if any of y'all stopped in for that stream, I apologize for my fury and frustration. As though that were something new to be concerned about. Ha! Ten. In one year today, 
is Super Robot Wars and the other some backlogged wrestling that I had that I've been wanting to catch up on which I suppose hearing that in the other ear is enough of a distraction it's probably very bad for recording very bad form but we're low tier right now we're not professional yet we will do what we please for fun and no profit whatsoever I have gotten recruited onto a uh, Gundam related project coming soon so hopefully all of that goes out very well I'm excited to start planning for those those tasks and those videos and dialogues for the dialogues to come as as they say get fixed Pop you off. Pew! Take him out! Right, Tosan, do a heal. Still only Bright has healing. What is this madness? Who has the least? <laughs> Come on, boss. Show me your moves. It's been a long time since we saw your moves. Boss! Boss, please! Yes, cuz Oh no, I did not mean to watch the boat. Wait, no, 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 no. Yes. But don't watch it. We don't need to watch this. It's too violent. Don't watch. Because then if I put Ko here. 
Cole has the support. Yeah! The move! Oh, you can hit from back here. Do it! Bonk. Wouldn't even try to beat him. Defend. Execute the move. God damn it, boss! Literally, this is your last chance. You could die here. See what happens when you fail, boss? That's what happened. Boom. Fortunately, he only costs like $10. $10 to fix that boy. Where is the magic spot. Well then, we're gonna move one space back. That way we're not wasting too many spots. There we go. Bonk. Two wrong spot. Level eleven, level ten, fourteen, space boat. It's time to fast forward.
We in there. We got big dollars. Who has power? Complete and utter over kill. What the heck? After the battle, Ko Koji Blah. Tetsuya observes that whether in Earth or space, there's no such thing as a peaceful rendezvous with allies. Your people are still glad to have Tetsuya fighting by their side. All of their nonplussed when they hear about Dankuka's exploits. Ugh. If everything is in order, Dankuka should be capable of combat in any environment. Too bad it wasn't fully tuned when it had to blast off. Bright relieves in the Don Kuga team strongly enough that they won't deviate from the current mission plan. He's happily exasperated with those... He's happily exasperated with those people who produce the best results when they act on their own the most. Words were hard. What the heck? I could not get through that sentence for some reason. So, yeah. Uh... SP plus five is, is good. There you go. Item repairing boss barrel. Ten units of currency. Ten dolens. So there we go. We got all the things after ten thousand years dungeon. I thank y'all for watching. And as always. Sig Zion.